Shabbat Shalom. We started talking a bit about the laws of Kiddush last week. Let's continue with that and talk about how big does your Kiddush cup have to be? Well, there are two elements in the size of a Kiddush cup. One is the size of the physical cup itself. The physical cup itself has to have a rivi'it. How big is a rivi'it? Well, the latter-day rabbis have a lot of fun arguing about that. They say, I don't know if it's true, that the Kiddush cup of the Chofetz Chaim is now here in Jerusalem by his descendants, but they don't use it because they think it's too small. I don't know if it's true, but we see that there are arguments about the size. My rabbis told me that we hold that a Kiddush cup of Revit has to be 86 milliliters. Some people say it should be 150 milliliters, and some people say it can be a little bit smaller. But for sure, a little shot glass, a tiny little cup, is not big enough. And a person needs a cup that holds a nice size amount. Just so you have some idea, an average uh, disposable cup is 180 milliliters. So your cup has to have at least 86 milliliters. Some people say 150. An average wine cup for sure has that. The second element is that the Kiddush cup has to be full. When you make Kiddush on the cup, lechatchila, ideally, you should fill the cup to the top. For Havdalah, we have a wonderful custom to let the wine flow over to indicate that the blessings spill over in our house. For Kiddush, you don't need it to overflow at all. It needs to be full. The major custom that people do is they fill it right to the top so you can see the wine just there over at the top. But many rabbis say that a full cup is enough. Like if you were to order an orange juice in a restaurant, they will bring a cup that's filled to the top with a few millimeters of uh, where it would be empty so it wouldn't spill. That's also considered a full cup. Towards the top, that it looks like a full cup. What do you do if you've got your 86 milliliters, your Rivi'it, but the cup isn't full yet? In such a case, if you made Kiddush, it would work, but ideally you should fill the cup. You should fill it with more wine or grape juice, because if you add too much water to it, you're going to lose the blessing of Berei Priyagofen, and your Kiddush won't work, because the wine will be too diluted. But if it's only a little bit, you could probably add water to it. Another option is to use Hercomedes rule. Why don't you put some heavy marbles or something in the bottom of the cup? The level of the wine would rise and you could make Kiddush on a full cup with a Rivi'it. I actually tried this once. I washed my son's marbles. We filled it up. I made Kiddush. Just be careful not to choke there as you're having a drink. Have a great Shabbos.